So in this video, we're going to be removing background noise from a microphone. Now this is pretty easy if you have a gaming PC with an NVIDIA RTX card, as we can just download a free piece of software called NVIDIA Broadcast Studio. And just type in download at the end to find it easier. If we go to this first link that comes up, we can just hit the little download button right there and watch this download. So once it is downloaded, go ahead and click on it to launch the installer. And here we go, the NVIDIA installer should pop straight up. So now it's going to check if your system is compatible and if it is, it will let you install it. So we're going to hit, go ahead and hit agree and continue. If you get an error and the program fails to install, then your PC is not compatible with this software and you're going to have to try a different method to remove background noise, unfortunately. Okay, so the installer is finished. Go ahead and hit close. NVIDIA broadcast should load straight up right here. And there we go. Here is our program. So we're just going to focus on the microphone section here. The speaker section is for removing background noise from other people, but I would not recommend messing with this one or the camera just yet as the software is in beta and doesn't perfectly work. So let's just stick with the microphone for now. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and turned on some fans in the background. And as you can probably tell, if I stay quiet for a minute, there is a significant amount of background noise in this recording. So let's go ahead and turn on the noise removal feature in NVIDIA Broadcast Studio. And this should take a second just to learn the background noise because it's, it's based on AI. So the more you speak, the more, like the longer you use this, the better it will get. So let's just see if it's working now. I, I can't hear it personally, so I don't know. So unfortunately, if you don't have an RTX card, then you cannot use this method for removing background noise. So let me show you a different way that you can do it, which isn't as good, but definitely is worth trying. So as you can see here, when we aren't talking, the background noise is filling up the bar a tiny bit. So if you have a look right here, you can see quite clearly how much uh, the bar is being filled up by the background noise. So what you want to do is you want to figure out when you're talking at your lowest volume, at your quietest point, like normally talking, you want to drag this slider all the way down to as, as, as low as you can get it without picking up the background noise. So basically... When you're not talking, it should never go past this bar. So let's have a look if that's good. Yes, that looks all right. The background noise does not go past this bar. And ideally, if you were talking quietly, this should still pick you up over the background noise. So it, it also helps to talk really close to your microphone as well, as that is a big thing a lot of the time. So of course, you can also do this in OBS. So if we have a quick look at the mic input right here, you can see that when we're not talking, the audio sits about right here, just because of the background noise. Yep, so if we hit the cogwheel right here, we can go filters, hit the little plus icon, and then add a noise gate, just like this. And normally the default settings are all right. I like to raise the release time a little bit, just so it doesn't cut off your voice as quickly. But I would definitely suggest playing around with these settings a bit to find the best setup for your microphone. Do some test recordings to make sure you do not get cut off while you're talking because that will make it very difficult for you to be understood by your recording, stream, any of that. But as you can see now, when we stop talking, the audio meter goes all the way down to completely silent. Now those are probably the best ways to get rid of background noise, but of course, if you can't, do any of these things you don't have a pc or, or something like that the final option is to put music over it so i'd recommend using music that's more bassy electronic stuff like that rather than using music that has people singing and stuff like that it's kind of difficult to understand people with multiple voices in the background so how do i personally deal with background noise in my videos so first of all i use a dynamic microphone instead of a condenser microphone Condenser microphones are very sensitive and they pick up a ton of stuff in the room, in the background, even in different rooms in your house. So I use a Rode Procaster dynamic microphone and I have it right in front of me, away from my mouse and keyboard, but less than a meter away. So it's not, not even that far really and it still doesn't pick it up most of the time unless I'm talking. Now the big reason for that 
is because I have a Go XLR mixer, which also has an EQ, DSR compressor. But the biggest thing that does it, that gets rid of all the noise, is the built-in noise gate. So if I turn this down right here, you will start to hear a lot more of the background. You'll hear my fan that I have on all the time when I'm recording. You'll hear me breathing probably a lot <sighs> like that, you know? And yeah, that's that's what the, the gate does. It blocks out all the noise below a certain volume. But occasionally I'll have a bad clip just because I had the fan on loud because it was hot or some other thing that I couldn't control. I forgot to mute or something like that. And if I get, get something like that, what I do is I just go into Premiere Pro I go into the audio effects and I add a denoise filter onto the audio. And this will take a second to process, but once it does, the audio will be much better. Now, obviously not every video editing program is gonna have a noise reduction filter, but in some cases, if you get lucky and you don't have that bad of a noise, you can cut it out after the recording. So it's worth giving that a go. But I'm always gonna say the best way to get a clean recording is to talk super close to your mic, have it right in front of you, Make sure your audio levels are good. Do a t quick test recording before you actually go through the effort of speaking for 20 minutes and doing your full video. But yeah, tweak all the settings for your microphone. If your microphone has a control panel like mine does, make sure you play with all the EQ and the volume. Make sure you're not clipping. And if you don't know what clipping is, if you turn up the volume too high like this, you're going to start clipping and it'd be very difficult to understand. And you gotta really make sure you set the gain correctly to avoid that. And finally, if you've tried everything and you cannot get a clean recording out of your microphone, it might be time for an upgrade. It could be the audio interface. It could be the mic itself. If you have a USB mic, those usually don't have the most amazing sound anyway. I would always suggest a good XLR microphone with a good audio interface for PC. Those are the three methods I would use to get rid of background noise from a video. They all work pretty well and hopefully they help you out in your own recording slash stream slash whatever it is you're using your microphone for. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Maybe consider joining my Discord if you want or use my Epic Games creator code. That's there as well. So yeah, thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.